Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Dark Knight 3. I am Mega, ah, Mega Freak 400, and that is Boomer. Is that a cog you've got there? You know I reckon it'll fit on this strange bucket uh, uh, that's been here ever since I moved in. Pop it in and see what happens. So we need one more cog to be able to access whatever, or do whatever the thing does. Um, in the meantime, uh, we have to we have all 25 of the remaining bonus coins. Uh, we can now buy his last special, which will allow us to access the last world of the Lost World. And, not only that, but we will end up facing the boss today. So, there's only one more episode after uh, today's episode. Uh, we are slowly completing, or uh, nearing the completion of this project. Um, or this replay. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I've enjoyed redoing it. It's a great game, and... You know, it's not even that the old project was bad. Like, like the Paper Mario. Paper Mario was just... It was a horrible first project, in my opinion. Um personally uh you, you know the, the original Donkey Kong had a, you know good uh high moments it wasn't bad part of the thing was the quality because i was using um a, uh you know glass television um it was really one of the worst looking of my projects you, you know because even some of the ones on the flat screen tv that were you know of webcam quality they weren't horrible that you know you could see what was going on i mean it wasn't you know again professional but they weren't horrible this one had really horrible quality and i just I wanted to, uh, you know, redo t because it deserved better. And also, again, the commentary, um, not necessarily the commentary is bad, but, like, the microphone was really faded. And I, you know, again, I thought it deserved to redo. Anyway, here we have uh, Rocket Rush. Uh, I always liked this level. It kind of almost kind of seemed out of place, but I always liked it. Anyway, the f you have two phases. The first phase is going down. Um, you don't want to run out of fuel, which isn't that hard to do, but I would recommend um, hitting buzzers be or buzzes because they help slow your descent. Um, and making sure to grab all the fuel, because I think the buzzes do deplete your fuel a little bit, uh, but if you grab the fuel, you'll be fine. Uh, for here, you, um, don't want to hit the wall more than two times. I think if you hit it two, and that includes just bumping it to the side, I think, um, you will not be able to make it. Uh, I just barely made it, but yeah, I think, I don't think I bumped it there, but I definitely bump it here. That's one. And, uh, two. I think that was all the bumps. Um, but yeah, and after that, we have, and there's no bonus coins in this level, hence why there was already an exclamation point on the, um, level name, but because there's no bonus coins left, the bonus coins are used to unlock the levels. Anyway, we do have this, so we have 40 hero coin, or 40, uh, DK I guess it's called DK coins in this game. Anyway, the last cog, and I always like, it's a short level, but I always like that level. Uh, so it was like, say, oh, it makes me sick, and I don't think it, I don't think it makes me sick. I don't know. Um... And the music's pretty decent. Uh, let's go see Rickley Kong one or wait, uh, Rickley Kong, uh, Bo uh, Boomer one more time. Um, and we put the cogs on. Doesn't seem to be doing much, but wait, there's more. By now, and um, what on earth is that rocket? Hey, take a look at a racket, not rocket. Rocket rush. Um, so let's go outside and see what's going on. Probably something amazing. Okay. Hmm, it doesn't seem like anything's going on, is it? Oh my god, it's hell. The sea shall turn red with his blood. Um, oh my god, it's Captain Nemo. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Actually, technically it is, because Nautilus is a reference to that, uh, the ship that he uh, sailed in. I read the book when I was really, uh, 20,000 leagues under the sea, when I was really young, and I didn't really get it. Maybe I should re reread it, but I didn't really like it because I didn't really get it. Um, I should re rewrite, uh, reread that though, by Jules Verne, that is. Uh, 20,000 Leagues by Jules Verne. Anyway, for whatever reason, uh, K. Rule has a secret submarine that we now, uh, found, and, uh, that's bad. I don't know, I will admit, this kind of plot point didn't make any sense. I mean, like, the one in, uh, Dark and Country 2, Lost World, it made sense, because he fell down, and you were just finishing him off. And this, this, you know, didn't really, doesn't make much sense. Now that I mentioned the boss battle is really not that difficult. It looks intimidating, but it's really not. First of all, the... Uh, cannon in the background has the worst aim ever. It will it will almost never hit you unless you're actually attempting to get hit by it, um, or just not paying attention. Um, and and again, the first time you might die, I guess it's against him. But if you know his pattern, he's not that bad. There's only one section that's somewhat difficult. Even that, it's not too bad. Uh, I recommend again. I recommend using Kitty um, in some of these battles because sometimes uh, Dixie's overhand throw against. I didn't mention this, but sometimes Dixie's overhand throw against K. Roll is, um, especially in this battle, not so much the other one, uh, can be a little bit difficult to use. Uh, Kitty's uh, underhand throw is, is you know nice to use. 
I recommend using Kitty, especially, again, the last part. Uh, I definitely recommend using Kitty. You can do it with Dixie, but I just, I think it's easier to an extent. Um, usually, I, I usually prefer using Dixie overall, though, because Dixie's more agile and she can fly, float through the air and climb up trees. If you choose her, you won't choose wrong. There's fireballs firing in the back of the room. That didn't rhyme. Um, so, yeah. Uh, K rule. K rule. No, uh, seriously. Um, but yeah, mo this battle's not too difficult. Um, it's kind of an interesting, you know, uh, you know, back, uh, you know, battle and background. But um, again, it's it's longer and more, you know, battley. Like the one in Death and Kids 2 is basically you do one more damage, uh, hit of damage to him and he's dead. Um, the one thing I will say, like the music, even though I like the rawr, it's a. Uh, yeah, it almost seems like it's an intro to a battle rather than an actual battle. I'm not a big fan of this song. Uh, I can't. And again, Donkey Kong 2 has a fantastic soundtrack. I think Donkey Kong 3 soundtrack is underrated, but I do think Donkey Kong 2 is probably better. Um, but yeah, this portion you have to have the barrel absorb the electricity and then hit him uh, uh, in the back. And again, Dixie can be hard to hit to get that uh, hit on him. Not impossible, but hard. Um, so I would be careful with that. Uh, yeah. Rawr! I, I, I love that. That's that's the one way you think about the song. It's just that, that, uh, kind of, um, yeah, that thing. Um, I should be dead in a little bit. I don't know. I think one more hit, actually. Yep, there we go. So he goes up there, uh, spins on his wheel for a reason, and we get the... Wait, 40... No, 41... Oh, no wonder there's a Red Sea. Um, anyway, uh, we finished uh, Kremtoa, so that means we're done, right? Uh, well, no, we have one more thing to do. If you don't remember a long time ago, I guess technically if you talked to him, he would have told you too, but um, uh, uh, Barter Bear told us that Frank, or, ah, frankly, no, um, Funky was working on something. Um, I'm sorry, Kong, I didn't think you'd actually get them all. I have nothing to show you, even though I'm sawing and working on something right at this exact moment. Um, so he has the Funky Copter, which is actually called the Gyrocopter. Uh, the gyrocopter will allow us to fly through the air and cl no no we're not going we already did that once no we're not no um so uh, now that we have gyrocopter let's go all the way up to the top of the map because we cannot oh, wait wait there's something up here oh okay uh there's a banana bird queen so um all those banana birds uh 15 in total we only got 13 so far um are the children of this queen who was sealed by k rule for i don't know this plot was Scooby-Doo. I don't know this. I won't. The plot of this game makes no sense. But anyway, um, he sealed up the Banana Bird Queen behind this wall, and the only way to free her is to have her children come together and sing. No, seriously, they have to sing. Sing a melody. Simple. No, that's a really great song. Um, please, Kongs, find all my children. If I, if you do, I promise I'll rid the land of K. Rule forever, except for he will come back in Dark 64. So I guess my promise isn't true. But whatever. Um. So yeah, we, we have to go find the remaining three banana birds, and then we can truly beat the game. Uh, and uh, you can technically go uh, talk to, um, oh, what's the name of the, the, the one in the um, shop? It's a B. It's, all their names start with B. Um, uh, it's not Barter, is it? It might be Barter. Uh, I, I hate that I forget names of bears. Bear names. Um... Oh, it has to be Barter or something. But anyway, the shop bear, the one that you buy everything from, he'll tell you where the banana bird caves are if you pay him. Um, but there's one there, case cache, and you need the gyrocopter to access all of them. Uh, Hilltop Horde. Do, 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 do. So this will be the last three of the 15. Uh, and we technically won't... Uh, tomorrow's will be... Tomorrow's episode will be... Um, extras and technically the final ending because again they didn't have enough time to fit everything in here because of time limits and stuff um but yeah this is a um ben yeah it's been a fun it's been a fun project i still have a minute left it's been a fun project redoing this game i'll probably talk a little bit more about it uh tomorrow um and yes yeah, i haven't really talked about the whole um you know uh, me and Slim Kirby and uh, Shadow Mario planning to do that at the same time because, like, you know, me and SM both uh, decided to redo our projects. Um, you know, we were saying, you know, considering uh, doing them. I, you know, again, I, I started this project about almost a year ago, actually, more more in April, but um, so yeah, we just adjusted it so we could all start them on the same day. Um, 
My word, they seem very excited. It looks as if they want to take you for a ride. Magic carpet ride, a whole... No, um... So, uh, yeah, you know, it, it, I, th that was something we've been playing for a while, and I th it, it turned out pretty cool. Um, and for anyone who wanted to watch all three at the same time, that was nice. Um, uh, so, yeah, and SM, I think at this point, will still be doing his, if you want to check that out. Maybe I'll put a link in the, the bottom bar, or the description, or the thing below me. Woo, uh, you did it, you did it. You found all of my children. At last, I can be freed from the behavioral spell. You know what, the banana birds, why don't the monkeys just eat them? I mean, how does that work? It's like, the, the, wouldn't you... And the same with the banana fairies in Dragon 64, you would think that they would be afraid of the monkeys. I don't know. Um, but anyway, the banana bird is free, or banana bird queen is free, and next time we will see the f ending of this game. So it's been made for 100, reminding you, bananas can fly.